dear friends, my name is Melody and welcome to House of Hosting Heaven. In today's video, which is a sequel from the previous video, I am going to be taking you through a planning session using the 2022 Hosting Heaven Planner. So find somewhere to sit, get something to drink, and let's get into these questions. As we open up our spirits to this new year, we want to prayerfully map out and paint out what this year looks like for us in the realm of the spirit. We want to be able to really focus and zone in on the areas that we want to grow in our spiritual journeys and we want to be very intentional about these things. So that's why we are having this session today. The aim is to find direction and clarity and to really approach this year with intentionality. Now take out that journal, take out that pen and let's start writing. The first question on this new section, which is the hello 2022 section is what is your theme for this year? You know, a lot of us have been doing our 21 days of fasting in January and we are now in a new year. After those 21 days, we have found direction, we have found clarity, we hopefully have heard what God is saying specifically to us with regards to the direction of our spiritual journeys. And some of you use church themes and also have personal themes like myself. So make sure that you do whatever feels most comfortable and most authentic to you. The second section of the planner asks you, how do you want to feel this year in your spiritual journey? I give you multiple words to choose from. And if none of those words best articulate and describe how you want to feel in your spiritual journey. You know, a lot of us enter into the new year. We are clustered. We are frustrated. We are depressed. We are downtrodden. We don't feel good entering into the new year. And we wonder why, especially living in this generation where anxiety, depression are at an all time high. When you feel these feelings and you're a Christian, you have to remind yourself, this is not what I planned to feel. This is not how I planned to feel. This is not how I am supposed to be feeling right now. I need to trade these feelings for the feelings that I have planned to feel for this year. Set that intention and place it before the throne of God. The next question to ask yourself is, list the things you are expectant of in your walk with God in 2022. This is a place to dream. This is the place to visualize. This is the place where you really paint that picture out and you really put pen to paper and God sees what you're writing down as expectations. Look, when you expect nothing, you get nothing. It's almost as though miracles naturally gravitate to people with expectation and faith. So don't be afraid to trust God again, especially if you maybe have been disappointed in your past. God is still the same God yesterday, today, and forever, and he still can be trusted. So lay down those expectations, write them down on a piece of paper. Watch what God will do when you trust and believe in him. The next and last question in this segment of the planner is, who do you need to become to leave out the theme that you've just written down in this section? You see, there is a version of us that is able to obtain the promises of God concerning our lives. There is a version of us that is going to be able to leave out every single thing that we have written down as expectations in our spiritual journey. That is the version of us that we're trying to seek out. It is the version of us that we are trying to authentically leave out so that we can get those things that God has promised to us. I'm reminded of that piece of scripture that says, blessed is she that believed that what God had spoken over her would come to pass. I pray that you stand on that word. I pray that that word gives you courage. I pray that that word breathes new life into you this year as you plan for 2022. All right, so this part of the video is where I share a little bit of some of the things that I've written in my own personal 2022 planner. So my theme for the year, part of my theme actually for the year, I'm gonna share half of it. Uh, part of my theme is cultivating hunger. I really believe that this year God is calling me deeper and he is specifically asking me to cultivate my own hunger and desire for him. 
and I am so excited, so, so excited because cultivating hunger is, um, is, is such an intentional way to stepping into the presence of God. It says, I am going to take it upon myself to curate an environment that allows me to be hungry and to yearn for your presence. And I can't wait. I just can't wait. Part of the things that I'm going to be doing is to read my book again, Hosting Heaven, Learning to Hear the Voice of God for Your Life. I'm going to be going back to the worship leaders that I used to listen to when I had just given my life to Christ. I'm going to really be going back to my first love as I cultivate hunger. Some of the words I wrote here that best describe how I want to feel in my spiritual journey, I circled, I want to feel revived, I want to feel nourished, I want to feel strong, I want to feel ease, I want to feel purposeful, I want to feel connected, and I want to feel aligned. Now remember in the planner, there's also a portion of the planner where you can actually write down some, some of the words that you are picking up what's coming up for you in the spirit as you are thinking through and prayerfully considering this question. So it's, it's super exciting when you do these exercises prayerfully. The next question, some of the things that I'm expectant of in my walk with God is maturing the anointing and the giftings that is upon my life. Now I've written down quite a lot of things here, but I'm going to share that one uh, on, on, on maturing the anointing. And really it's going to require me to connect deeper in Bible study, it's going to require me to connect um, in prayer and, you know, as a new mummy, it's, uh, it's really going to require a lot of intentionality because it's not easy. It's not an easy journey, um, but it's going to happen because God has given me the, the reassurance that he's going to go through the journey with me. So the last question is, who do you need to become to leave out the theme that you've written down for yourself? And I wrote here, um, for me to mature in the anointing, I need to be connected and plugged in prayer. I need to be intentional about Bible study, and I need to be intentional about actively practicing the Word of God in my life. And so if you're watching this and you have really been um, seeking God to elevate you or to mature your anointing, uh, let's go on this journey together. Uh, I've also written down quite a few things as well, but I'm just sharing uh, one or two things so that you can actually um, go on this journey with me actively because that's that's what I'm desiring this year for us to actively go on the journey together. So this planner is really for the person that has committed to themselves to be intentional in their spiritual journeys. All right, so as we close off this video, in the comment section below, I just want you to let me know, comment below, uh, what three words best describe how you want to feel in your spiritual journey in this 2022? I'm going to be coming in the comment section below and I'm going to be standing in prayer and in faith with you so that God can really uh, cause those things to come to pass in our journeys. If you are also free to share, please write in the comment section below some of the things that you are expectant to see in your spiritual journey this 2022. And I want to prayerfully uh, stand in faith with you and uh, ask that God would allow your expectations and my expectations to come to pass. And also, if you found this exercise useful, consider getting yourself a full version of the 2022 Hosting Heaven Planner. We have a printable version, which is a soft copy that is sent to you via email. Payments are done via PayPal. Uh, the link will be in the description box below. You print it out and you write down and use some of these exercises for clarity and um, intentionality when it comes to your spiritual journey this 2022. What you're also going to be noticing is that I am going to be filming and doing vlogs of some of my bucket lists that I've written down in my planner uh, and they will be coming in the form of vlogs so that you can see me actively really using this tool in my spiritual journey. It really does frame my spiritual life um, and it really did frame my spiritual life last year. It made everything so plain um, and when I look back at that planner, I remember the things that I've done uh, and how I have used my time on this earth when it comes to my spiritual journey. And this is one of the biggest, biggest uh, tools that I have used in my own personal life. All right, that's it for the day and see you in my next video. Share this with a friend who you know uh, would find it interesting and let's go on this journey together. It's a bye for now.